The best type of protein supplement that you, that you can use is usually composed of a, a whey protein or secondarily a casein protein. The two major proteins in milk are whey and casein where about 80% uh, of the protein content of milk is casein and 20% is whey. <clears throat> Over the years it's become apparent that whey protein has a very high biological value usually placed at about 105 as a consequence. It's uh, considered the, uh, the most useful type of, uh, of protein powder. Of course, whey comes in different forms, hydrolyzed whey, whey protein isolate, uh, whey concentrate. Uh, the difference between the various whey proteins usually is related to the, con the lactose content. Lactose is milk sugar. Uh, whey concentrate tends to have the highest uh, amount of, of lactose. Uh, whey isolate has less than, uh, I believe, less than 2% or 3%. And hydrolyzed whey also has a very low lactose content. Uh, this is of concern to, pe to people that are lactose intolerant. Uh, lactose, again, is the uh, primary sugar found in milk. Uh, the enzyme needed to break down lactose is called lactase. Uh, a lot of people don't produce enough lactase. So as a consequence, when they drink milk or take protein supplements such as whey concentrate, they're going to uh, experience gastrointestinal symptoms including bloating, uh, flatulence, and nausea, possibly even vo uh, vomiting. Uh, so, you know, we could say that one of the major causes of intolerance to certain protein supplements would be la uh, lactose intolerance. However, the amount of uh, or the number of people that actually have full-blown lactose intolerance is less than what you what, what you think. I mean, there's only a small percentage, and even those people can usually handle small amounts of lactose without any gastrointestinal problems, including the small amount that's found in whey protein supplements. Yet there are other people that insist uh, that when they take or use a whey protein supplement, they get severe gastrointestinal symptoms. Uh, now, what are the symptoms that you that some people claim to get or say they get when they ingest a whey protein supplement? Well, they, they get rash. They get a rash. This happens very quite soon after ingesting a concentrated whey protein supplement. They'll get rash. They'll get hives, which are skin manifestations. Uh, the, the skin will become red and irritated. The skin around the mouth becomes irritated. The lips and tongue can swell. In a worst case scenario, the throat starts to kind of narrow in interfering with breathing. That's a condition called angioedema. Interestingly enough, years ago, the oral anabolic steroid Winstrol was, was uh, often suggested as a treatment for angioedema. Now they have other ways of treating it. <clears throat> when, you, uh, when you have an allergic reaction, you'll often have your eyes start to water and you're sneezing and coughing. What this is caused by is that the allergic reaction stimulates uh, an antibody called immunoglobin E, which in turn sets into motion a cascade that results in the production of a chemical called histamine. Histamine causes a, a leakage of, of uh, fluid from blood vessels, and it causes most of the allergic manifestations that I've just mentioned are caused by an excess release of histamine, uh, which is due to the uh, allergic response. Another, uh, other symptoms include sneezing, coughing, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, uh, then if you start to get, uh, in a worst case scenario, you start to wheeze and get short of breath, that signals the onset of what's called anaphylaxis, which you can die from. And in that, in that situation, you have to have an immediate uh, injection of epinephrine, uh, which, will, uh, you know, uh, which will cause the allergic reaction to subside quite fast. Uh, Certain diseases, by the way, are also uh, aller aller uh, or allergy-based. Uh, one example of this is uh, asthma. For years, they thought asthma was allergy-based. I have asthma myself, and I remember years ago when I was exposed to cats, I would have severe reactions uh, within about maybe 15 minutes of being exposed to a cat. My lungs would start to close. I couldn't breathe. I had to make frequent trips to the emergency room. Uh, over the years, uh, medical progress has uh, continued, and now they believe that asthma is mainly a, an inflammatory disease caused by oversensitivity of the, uh, of the lung tissue to uh, various allergens. It reacts very rapidly, 
causing a narrowing of the bronchial tubes, but that's besides the point. I was just using that to illustrate a typical allergy-based uh, disease. But, uh, you know, the thing is, uh, there's been several case studies. I, I should point out that it's important to note that allergy to both cow's milk, and I'm not talking lactose intolerance, I'm talking actual protein allergy. Uh, allergy to cow's milk and whey protein and casein is relatively rare. Uh, the percentage that it occurs in adults is something like less than 1%. It's more common in babies who haven't developed the tolerance to these proteins. Um, very often, um, uh, as I said, it, it's very rare in adults, but there have been a couple of case studies. In fact, I'm looking at one now. This was published in a journal called the European uh, Annals of Allergy and Clinical Immunology. This, uh, this case uh, was a, a bodybuilder. It says he was a previously healthy 24-year-old man with a three-month history of gastrointestinal symptoms during the exercise and also a few minutes after the ingestion of cow's milk without exercise. He reported the ingestion of a blend of hydrolyzed whey and casein proteins for bodybuilding for the last two years. Tests showed positivity to cow's milk, alpha-lactobumin, beta-lactoglobulin, and casein extracts and also to the protein supplement. He was positive for a specific uh, aminoglobin E, blah, blah, blah. The, uh, it, showed, it showed a sensitivity to the two proteins in whey, beta-lactoglobulin and alpha-lactobumin. Uh, and uh, basically, when he switched, to make a long story short, according this is a case study, of course, uh, when he switched to a vegetable protein, uh, these symptoms disappeared. So what the... Uh, what the um, authors of the study concluded was that this particular person was had a, a severe allergy to the two major proteins found in whey protein, uh, specifically beta-lactobumin uh, and uh, beta-lactoglobulin. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, beta-lactoglobulin and alpha-lactobumin. Those are the two. Uh, and uh, now, so what this boils down to? What's? Uh, oh, there's another one. This was another recent abstract. A case study of four patients evaluated for a combination of immediate symptoms after ingesting a protein included urticaria, that's itchiness of the skin, angioedema, swelling of the throat, bronchospasm. They felt like they were going to pass out, and they had gastrointestinal stress. They were tested, and they were found again. Uh, uh, they were again. These people, these four patients, were also allergic to those two main whey proteins that I mentioned earlier. So what can we deduce from all this? Well, very simple. Very simply, uh, if you buy any kind of whey protein and you experience any of the symptoms which I described earlier, the odds are that you uh, you are allergic to these proteins and whey. And it has nothing to do with being aller allergic to lactose. This is a completely separate issue. Uh, a lot of it has to do with the fact that these proteins are extremely concentrated. In other words, these proteins, uh, these these uh, th these whey proteins, are much more concentrated in the protein powder than they are in the cow's milk. In other words, some people can drink small amounts of cow's milk and not have these symptoms, but when they actually ingest any kind of concentrated whey, they will have the symptoms. So any of you who, uh, and I've heard this from many people who've told me that when they take a whey protein supplement, they experience bloating, gastrointestinal symptoms, even nausea. Now, now you know the reason why. You're one of those rare individuals who is just absolutely allergic to these main major proteins found in whey. So the simple solution, if you experience these, uh, these, uh, these symptoms, you want to avoid. You cannot have any kind of whey protein. No hydrolyzed whey, no whey protein concentrate, no whey protein isolate. Uh, you, you, want, might, you might be able to take casein. Uh, there's a good chance, however, you'll also be allergic to casein protein. So your your obvious uh, your options are to use if you want to use a protein supplement. Your best option is to avoid all milk-based protein supplements, and use let's say uh, possibly a plant-based uh, the pea protein, hemp protein, even soy protein, uh, and uh, or just avoid protein supplements completely and get your protein from just good high animal protein foods chicken, fish, eggs, and that, and that avoids the issue altogether. So again, the uh, bottom line to remember is that uh, a certain rare percentage of people are, are actually allergic to milk protein. Uh, in a severe scenario, they can wind up getting anaphylaxis, 
which is an emergency situation requiring a epinephrine injection. If you start to, if you take a protein supplement, you start to wheeze and have trouble breathing. My advice is to get get yourself to an emergency room as fast as possible. As soon as they give you the epinephrine injection, you'll be fine. You know, it'll stop it and it'll nip it in the bud, as they say, and you'll be fine. Some people have EpiPens, they call them, where they can inject themselves with epinephrine. You can use that also. But so that's about it. So, you know, the, the allergic reactions to whey, uh, to sum it up, are rare and also to casein. They're rare, but they do exist. If you want further information about nutrition, exercise science, anti-aging research, fat loss techniques that work, ergogenic aids, hormonal therapy, uh, women's health and fitness, supplements, subscribe today to my Applied Metabolics newsletter, www.appliedmetabolics.com. When you subscribe, I will send you an invitation to join my uh, private Applied Metabolics Facebook page, where each day I post new information on medicine, exercise, and nutrition. Uh, you also uh, There's also an email portal on my Applied Metabolics website where current subscribers can send me short questions relating to either the articles in Applied Metabolics or any questions you want to ask me about nutrition and exercise as long as they're short questions. I will ha be happy to answer that for current subscribers. Uh, Applied Metabolics, by the way, is 40 to 50 pages every month. And it's no advertising. There's no BS. It's all evidence-based. It includes current medical and physiological information. And it also includes something that you won't find in other publications, which is my now 58 years of constant study and, and, and empirical experience. In other words, training in the gym, things I've learned, things to avoid. I'm going to tell you the truth about supplements. It's all in simple English. I guarantee you, no matter what your level of education you will learn something in every issue of Applied Metabolics. So subscribe today, www.appliedmetabolics.com. Uh, if you want to have the best friend you will ever have, go to, I was looking for my dog, Bruno. He's around here somewhere. Go to your local shelter and adopt a dog. Best friend you'll ever have. Take care. Thanks for listening.